guys, it's Andy here from dreamwares.co.uk and I'm just going to be showing you how to create cool abstract backgrounds um, that you can use as a wallpaper or apply to other things. Um, here's something that I made earlier and here is another background that I made earlier and I'm going to show you how to make something similar to that. Firstly, you're going to have to download a program called Apothesis and you do that, just go to apothesis.org I'll post a link on my sidebar uh, it's a very small uh, program, it won't take up any room at all, hardly. And you can run it as soon as you download it, you don't need to install it or set it up. So, you're just going to run it. And it basically generates a batch of lots of different uh, abstract sort of images like these here. Okay. So, just scroll through them until you find something that you quite like. For example, I could go with this one and the colour doesn't matter because we're going to be completely changing the colour anyway and then you can go to mutate and I'm going to go to uh, trend and I'm going to go to swirl and I'm going to pick a sort of swirl image although you don't have to, you can go with whatever image you want for example you could use this one here or this one or any, pretty much any one, any of them will work just pick one that you like the look of okay and then just hit this button here to render it and set it to, it, dep it depends what you're going to use it on, what size that you want to render it at I'm going to use it for my background, so I'm going to set it to 1920 uh, oh. actually let me just check my resolution no sorry, 1280 oh and 960 I'm going to set mine to 1280 oh and 960 and make sure that you yeah, uh, untick maintain aspect ratio and then quality 4000 Felt already 0.4 over sample 2 and then hit render. It can actually tw take quite a long time. So you might want to drop the air quality down just a little bit. Um, rather than using th 4000 you could use uh, 2000 and that will drop the, uh, the memory required down quite a lot. Because otherwise it's going to take quite a long time to render. So once you're done just hit render and as you can see it will start to render. I'm just going to pause the video now so that you don't have to sit and watch while it renders, okay? Okay, here we are. I've opened up the file in Photoshop. From here, it's quite easy to uh, get the background. You've got to apply some filters. Um, first, you're going to press Ctrl A or Command A on a Mac to select, uh, select it. Then you're going to press Ctrl I to invert it and make it white. And then you're going to go to Edit and define brush preset and then you can just call it abstract brush or whatever you want and you now have a brush uh, a brush that you can use that looks just like that okay just for uh, future reference you have that um, brush right there I'm just gonna undo that okay now we're just going to open up a new, uh, in fact, let's just delete this and instead change our foreground colour to black. And then we're just going to click in the middle here and then press Ctrl J, Command J on a Mac to duplicate it a few times so that it's more um, obvious. Okay, and then to lift the bottom layer we're going to double click and we're going to apply a drop shadow and we're going to set it to the blend mode to normal. And then I'm just going to set the colour to pink. And then I'm going to set the distance to fa to 0 and the size to about 15 pixels. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to press Control, hold down Control or Command on a Mac and click New Layer to make a new layer beneath it. Then I'm going to make sure my foreground colour is black. I'm going to hit Alt and Backspace to fill the background with a black colour there. Then I'm going to double click on this, the next layer up, above the layer of the drop shadow. I'm going to hit Outer Glow, and then I'm going to change this to this uh, this uh, gradient here, the rainbow gradient that's oh, that has opaque colours on the side here. Sorry, transparent. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to select the size to about let's say 20 pixels. And I'm just going to hit OK. And then on the next one up, I'm going to double click again, bring the layer styles open. I'm going to hit Outer Glow. I'm going to change this to the glow that isn't, uh, that doesn't have transparent parts on the side, this one here. Hit OK. 
again you can just play around with the size of it until you get something you like I'm going to set it to 15 uh, 15 pixels I'm just going to hit OK and then actually for this one we're just going to uh, we're going to delete this layer here we don't really need it um, we need the layer but we don't need uh, a fourth or uh, uh, sorry a third or yeah a fourth uh, image we're just going to clear that layer so it's blank and then we're going to go to our brush tool and we're going to select uh, we're going to make sure the hardness is set to zero and then we're just going to use our square bracket keys to increase the size until it's about this big and then we're just going to draw over some bright colors make sure we use bright colors I'm going to use a bright pink, I'll use a, a bright blue um, I'll use a red yellow orange and uh, I guess I'll put a green in there too just like that and then we're just going to go to our blending modes here and we're going to set it to overlay as you can see we now have this multicolored look and that's it you've now created this uh, very nice abstract background that you can use as a wallpaper if you want, if you, want you can also play the opacity on uh, some of the layers here I could set it to uh, 75% perhaps on each of them and just play around with the opacities until you get something uh, that you like alright and also on the bottom layer of a drop shadow it optionally you can apply uh, if you've got a filter blue you can apply a Gaussian blue and you can uh, increase the pixels on that and just play around with it and basically just play around with the styles and the colors until you get something that you like alright and that's pretty much it I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. This is Sandy from Drummers at Co UK. Have a nice day.